Lucky number Slevin, short movie review. Slevin, played by Josh Hartnett in his one good performance of his career so far, is having a bit of bad luck. He just lost his apartment, his girlfriend, and his ID due to being mugged, and he has just set foot in his friend Nick's apartment, who's out of town, when he is mistaken for Nick, who has gambling debts, with two rival mob leaders. And he now owes both of them a favor. The rabbi wants 33,000 in 48 hours, and the boss wants, yes, every single name in this is thought of in you know, half a minute by a five-year-old. The boss wants him to kill the rabbi's son. Basically, this movie has you constantly not really knowing what's going on. And that would be okay if we just had a lead that was interesting while we try to figure out what's going on. But we don't. We know nothing about Hartnett, and he's not even an appealing character because it does not take him very long to agree to kill someone he has no idea who what is like as a human being, just to get out of you know paying this debt. Yes, it's ninety six thousand, and he might have trouble finding the money, but he doesn't even seem to consider alternatives. With this, we are left with, you know, just the side characters who are all quirky and almost all intolerable. The one exception to at least the intolerable aspect is Lucy Liu, who's very energetic and somewhat fun, but there are people who will be annoyed by her as well. The dialogue is just painful, repetitive, really not funny, tries to be, tries really hard at being clever and just fails completely. The slang actually makes some of the lines really difficult to understand, and there is so much freaking meaningless babble in the dialogue that you actually end up missing important plot points amongst it. I had to rewind the DVD just to be able to keep up. As I said, the story, you basically don't know what's going on, and you only will in the last 15 minutes, after 90 minutes of not knowing what is going on. And that's just not a very interesting way to, you know, you can have a story where the audience is just guessing and trying to figure out what's going on, but you need to have something to keep us hooked in and or the story actually needs to be complex. When you actually find out what's going on, it is incredibly straightforward, and it actually comes off as they just wanted to make it seem more complex by having this massive dump of twists and exposition and explanation at the very end. There is nothing to keep us interested, and when you actually know the story, it's just not, it's not compelling. The acting can be quite good. Bruce Willis is awesome, as always. The film does look really good. The visual style and editing are really great. And that about covers it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.